So for the uh, task number one, the purpose actually, uh, the inheritance, we see this example of inheritance, the multiple inheritance, where it is clearly given A, C, D, or A, B, D, the st straightforward. Or we can translate in this actually uh, more virtual, let's say, virtually seen the A inherits to both A, uh, sorry, B and C, and then after both of them, those B and C, they give to D. So there will be actually an, an ambiguity problem here that we have to solve, and the uh, virtual inheritance solves that. So to do so, let's just dig in and let's uh, uh, solve the issue. The first task actually is asking us to solve the inheritance uh, scenario here without any uh, concern of uh, ambiguity. So we just implement this solution here. Let's do so. So I'm going to uh, start by uh, implementing my class. So here, uh, no need, actually, I'm going to. I do not need a string also, is the online. I'm gonna call the namespace std here actually, yes, and I'm gonna create my first class, I'm gonna give it the name for example A, that starts here and that uh, gets closed here, that's good. In between here I'm gonna just, I'm gonna give it uh, A capital, let's uh, name it like uh, the graph. Uh, the, uh, as per the diagram we have, uh, big A. So in here I'm going to say, let's say, um, uh, do, or let's say read, something like that, read, okay, or let's say display, sorry, disp, let's say disp, whatever, it's a method that has uh, a body, which is actually see out, for example, less than, less than, uh, I'm going to say uh, big A, okay, less than, less than, it's uh, Nandel, great, that's it, finished. I'm going to implement the B and C now, the B and C, both of them, so I'm going to pass to implement those two B and C, this and this, this or this, actually, from whatever diagram may have. So, class, I'm going to say um, B, start first one, but this one, actually, it's uh, a uh, subclass that inherits from public, from the A, public, so it's, uh, it's a subclass from the A class, so it starts here and it gets closed here. In between, I'm going to say also this is another disp. So uh, that starts here and it has uh, one C out. Let's see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to copy paste all. Copy. Paste. Change this A with B. So inside the B, we print B. Good. Uh, another class. So I'm going to. Uh, the class C actually the class C I'm gonna implement is the class C that it is also a subclass of the class A and here we display C so it's a it's a message to be displayed no more or less so from the class A we display A from class B we display B from class C we display C and so on but the B and C they are subclasses of the A now we pass to the last class which is the D the last class, the down class, this one, this one, which is a subclass of both B and C. So let's do so. Let's do that. So here the class is D, and it is a public class of subclass of B, comma the class C also public. Here C, B and C. Sorry, C, C, subclass of B and subclass of C, both. And here we display C, uh, sorry D, we display D, we are inside the D, so we display D. Done, we implemented the other body, just let's, let's call and let's uh, manifest that. Inside the main, so we pass to the main, so inside the main we do uh, the following, we just generate an object from the class, let's say, uh, I'm going to say A, and the class A I'm going to create a nobby J. Um, that is a new object from that is a new uh, object from the um, same class. Yes, good. No worries here. And I'm gonna uh, use this object to reach the the disp uh, the disp uh, the disp. So what is, yes, it's the disp. Any disp. Uh, this method, so yes, semicolon. We see the errors. We see the errors. I'm just doing the uh, default uh, practice, uh, just one. 
Yeah, we have so many errors actually, and the errors here they are actually uh, related to uh, whether permission or or whether permission or uh, let's say uh, ambiguity problem. Let's uh, start by the permission problem. So here inside the a, uh, the, the this bit's a public one. Yes, copy, and also here inside the b, the d bit's a public one, and also inside the c, the d bit's a public one, and also inside the d. The this is a public one. Great, that's it. Let's run again. Still we have uh, errors here. Still we have errors here. Let's visualize the first one. We see here he's saying that uh, forward declaration of class A. Forward declaration of class A. Let's see the explanation here. With no type. Yes, exactly. So we have to uh, say here, let's say uh, void. Here the type for each. It's a procedure, so let's uh, take it and hit the type void, void, void. Another one inside the D. Yes, let's run again. Okay. Invalid use of incomplete type class A. Invalid. Uh, use of incomplete type A. Let me just uh, visualize the issue here because I have to uh, visualize the, uh, the error. It's not the same one. Yes, here it is. The error. Here it is. Uh, what I'm going to do here actually, I'm going to immediately pass to the main and uh, here the object from A I'm gonna uh, specify that it is an uh, uh, it is a pointer because actually we are pointing a class to another and uh, I'm gonna use the object pointer so this is the object pointer the arrow minus then greater than it's minus and greater than so simply simply so to indicate that I'm uh, pointing to an object Yes, and j just let's run. Let's run. Uh, okay, uh, invalid use of incomplete type uh, class A and uh, still forward declaration of class A. Let me find the. Uh uh, the error. Just let me uh, just to make the video short. I'm gonna just. Uh